Matt O'Leary. Matt O'Leary has three older brothers. All three older brothers grew it. They grew it in college. So I love that. I'm not begging on it. I'm not begging on it. But I love it. Matt has a phenomenal stroke. He is every bit of 6'8". He's really long. He, too, is going to get better and better with strength. But he is a weapon. He is locked and loaded from three from all over the place. And guys like Darrell and Cully and Kiki and that can find guys, look how quick he picked and popped right there. Can you rewind it? If you saw us pick and pop, you're going to see it's a big part of our offense. So we targeted bigs that can pick and pop. So look at this. Look at this. He has really good footwork. He's also, he's really skilled. And you're going to see, I mean, right, right out of the gate, you notice his three-point shooting. Though. But he's, you see him look away. I mean, he's impressive. He can handle. He's skilled. He has a feel. He's not a panicked passer. Sometimes you talk about panic passers, like right there. When we break presses and in the transition, people are going to have to be aware of him. He's going to spot up when you got Cully and some speed now starting to create. That was a great, I mean, long arms to catch that pass. Now he's uh, right here. He's got real long arms. I mean, we're, not, we're going to talk about his arms and not that vertical in that one right there. Um, but he's got tremendously long arms. I mean, it's a picture perfect stroke. But you're going to see, uh, I think this is a great little pass right there. Well, I mean, he just did it so naturally. You can see, like, we, we watched this clip earlier. He's pointing there, and he just naturally, I mean, he just he knew he was there. Look at the flash to get ahead of the ball. That's just a quick touch. And I think when he gets stronger, I think he has the capability. He's 6'8 right now. He actually says he's 214. I, I, I'm ready to take a lie detector test on 214, though. But I do think, that, that, like, I loved how he kept it up there, Flash. Do you remind that? Um, I loved how he didn't bring it down right here. Watch him keep the ball above his head. Some bigs bring it down. We got a couple bigs that are always on to bring it down. He's at long arms, and he keeps it up. He doesn't, he doesn't take a little baby dribble to where he let these guards get in there and pinch on him. He, he, get, he kept, got the ball in the glass quick. And that's what I think he's going to be able to do. And when he gets stronger, is put it on the deck and get by you quick. Like he has these long arms that can get up there and finish. So I envision him someday being a very versatile. If he's, if he's not an inch bigger, great. That means he's 6'8", 225. That can shoot it like the way he can shoot it. 4-0 student. He's the, I mean, off the charge student. Now this is, this is a shooter knows how to get a shot. He just hunted that open area. He was low, had his great hand targets, knees bent, everything. Another one, he didn't put the ball down. He caught it, quick turn, and got it on the glass. Now, Jeff brings instant speed to our program. Instant speed, toughness, uh, great mid-range game. Pure Emanuel, they played for the state championship. They lost as a junior. He was the uh, captain. He was the leading scorer, assists, steals, um, and just a very, very tough competitor. He's got decent size. He's very strong, but his best part is his mid-range game. He's got a phenomenal mid-range game. He's got to improve his three. He's getting much better on it. But that mid-range game, he can go by you and stop on a dime. <coughs> Did you see that changeover crossover create? He just, he just has a change of pace crossover and a little shovel pass. He's going to, Pure Emmanuel gets up and picks you up 94 feet. He's used to defensively having that tough-minded mentality to get up full court. He too, like the route, they've been talking nonstop. Are so excited about building something in Chicago <coughs> and in Illinois. He's right-handed, but he has a really good left uh, change of pace dribble. He can go left. But I just felt we needed more speed uh, from the guard spot. I think I mean, right out of the gate, Kiki and Darrell brings that. Tough defense, jumping in passing lanes. But I envision him being a very strong six foot, six one, very strong. Uh, defensive guard gets up in you and really gets that tempo going up and down. When he can create, you know, he's unselfish and uh, been able to find shooters. He's played in state tournaments. He plays in these packed houses in Peoria. He comes from one, a great basketball area. And we feel like it's going to open up some pipelines because he's a very, very popular player in that area. Played for the Illinois Wolves AU team. Had a, a, a very ton of players coming out of there, um, but he's about winning. And I love this, as high school coaches always say, the bigger, he always steps up in huge games. And I love that about him. Nick Osborne. Nick is one I've known for a couple years. Nick is a very, very tough kid. He's, he brings athleticism, 
toughness, mobility. Um, he's got a great frame already. He's tough. He's got a, a great mobility about him. Block the shot. He come down. And he, just like O'Leary, he can knock down trail shots, pick and pop shots. But he's skilled and mobile. Are you right there? See how fast the cut, cut he makes? He's not slow footed. He's not a plotter what, at all. He gets it. He makes it. Hard, quick cuts right in front of him, made a face cut right there, and was able to finish right there. Watch him right here. No flash. You don't want to slow mo this one. But he's, he, I love his hand targets. He goes in for a rebounding. I love this about the top. I love that about the top. That's, that's thinking. You know, he's got his knees bent. He's really well coached. His knees are bent. He's got his hand targets. He's got his toes ready to face the rim. He's thinking. So many guys at the high school level, they're not thinking about the next pass. They catch it, and they're like, oh, I'm open. At our level, defense is closed out so fast. You've got to be low, ready, stepping into your shot one, too. He's already got a good habit. Now, this next thing I can't teach. You can see how far the ball is off the rim. It's a good seven feet off the rim when he's six feet and he gets it. He was ranked the second best big man. He had a big ten offers. Um... And I love what he was about. From day one, he said, now, that, everyone, that. that's a quick, open spot. I, mean, I, I love this. Ben's really good at this, too. Hitting this open gap, catch and turning, getting ahead of the pass in one motion. But from day one of the recruiting, he was about uh, coming to a program to build it up. Quick, hard, mobile cut. He has a really good jump hook. He, too, has three-point range. He's going to stop and pop from three. So he's, I think he's going to be mobile. He's got athletic ability. And I think he's really tough. Again, he's a 4-0 student as well. The ability to knock down shots. Toes from the three right there. Nick and Jarrell, the last day you gave it the summer, they played against each other, and we were there. And they went head to head. And uh, Nick's team won, but Jarrell had like 18, and Nick Nick had like 16 and 12. And Jarrell, that was a big reason. Jarrell committed like an hour after Nick committed. He's like, because he, he loved Nick Osborne. And they've been talking all the time. You were on that? <coughs> He's a guy who can run a lot of play for. We know a lot of those. So I think, you know, they're able to run some lot of plays for. I can assure you this, um, recruiting this year and as we go forward, that and my wife can tell you this, this is firsthand of how much I talk on the phone to recruits, is that above everything, character is, is at the top of the list. Because Loyola des deserves high character people. You're all associated with it. And it doesn't mean that when they come here, they're not going to make a mistake. But going into it, if we know about it, we're not recruiting. I've walked away in home visits when a young man disrespected his mom. And I bring off the story because you're going to really love having these kids represent you. They're great kids, great high-quality kids, great character, great personalities, and they're going to fit into this community great. We'll be proud of them, root them on as we move into the future. So we, uh, it's, it's, you can tell after watching them, it's been very hard to bite our lip and not talk about them because they've been committed, and we're just very excited to talk about them. I do, after saying all that, I do say one thing, and I'll say to them, next year they will be freshmen. They will be freshmen. You know, it, it, is, it isn't something where they're going to walk on and right out of the gate, you know, change everything. They are, they are going to be freshmen, so we have to be careful. I know as coaches, we have to be careful about their, their expectations too fast. But I really think for a first step as we build this thing, I think that recruiting class is something you can be proud of. And again, I can't echo enough how tirelessly my staff works at recruiting, and they just, uh, they, they, you have to be, and again, just want to thank my staff for all the time and effort they do in recruiting. It's unbelievable <coughs> the effort those guys put in.